In the news this week, David Cameron attacks Scotland's named person scheme. The Institute warns that the run-up to the EU referendum is a good time to bury bad laws. And the Ashes Baking Company case returns to court. Hello and welcome to this week's news bulletin from the Christian Institute. David Cameron has attacked Scotland's named person scheme as absurd and bureaucratic. It comes in the week it was revealed that under the scheme, school children in Scotland will be quizzed about their private lives and asked to fill out intrusive questionnaires. The Prime Minister's comments came in his speech at the Scottish Conservatives Conference in Edinburgh. There's even this absurd named person policy, which ensures that every child is allocated a guardian, even if they have parents and even if they have no need for this extra bureaucracy. Before David Cameron's remarks, the Scottish Mail on Sunday reported that young school children will be coaxed to divulge information through the use of prompt cards, songs and games. Older children will face a series of questions on their home life, their sexual health and whether or not they feel close to their parents. Vice Chairman of the British Association of Social Workers, Maggie Mellon, said the answers will be misused. This is a crude tool with no validity but it will be used and the information interpreted as evidence of child abuse or neglect. Sunday family time is priceless and needs to be protected, a senior Labour MP has said. Tristram Hunt made the remarks as he outlined why he would vote against plans to weaken Sunday trading laws. Writing in his local newspaper, he said Sunday is the only day of the week when people can enjoy time together away from work or school. This is the stuff you cannot measure in mere pounds and pence. There is something priceless about having one day set aside for families. He spoke out ahead of a vote in the House of Commons on the government's plans. Last year, the SNP declared that it would stand against the proposals. However, the party now appears to be wavering on the issue. Other MPs, including some Conservatives, are expected to vote against the government. The Christian Institute has warned that government departments could try to slip through highly contentious legislation which harms Christian freedoms while the media focuses on the EU referendum. Institute Director Colin Hart warned that the government may see the build-up to the referendum as a good time to bury bad laws. He encouraged Christians to be mindful of attempts by Westminster to push ahead with proposals for extremism disruption orders and plans for schools regulator Ofsted to monitor church youth work. It's inevitable that much of the press is going to be concerned with the whole EU debate and that does present a danger that the government could use that opportunity to push through laws which are very damaging to religious liberty, namely the introduction of plans to inspect church youth groups by Ofsted and also plans to restrict free speech using extremism disruption orders. So Christians need to be very vigilant at this time as the EU debate goes on. And finally, the Ashes Baking Company case has returned to court for a one-day hearing in Belfast. Judges have considered technical legal points ahead of the full hearing in May. They decided that the Attorney General had raised an arguable case that Northern Ireland's sexual orientation regulations directly discriminate against those who hold certain religious beliefs or political opinions. Ashes' appeal had been put on hold following his intervention. The Christian Institute is supporting the MacArthur family in their stand for biblical marriage after they were sued for not decorating a cake with a pro-gay marriage slogan. Please continue to pray for the MacArthurs and sign the petition backing them at christian.org.uk forward slash support ashes. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and more information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.